you discover the bridge. You go put a foot on the bridge, feel sturdy. You walk across the bridge. Like, oh my God, I'm on the other side. So you walk an hour downriver, right? Come right back down here to the path. And right when you get to this spot, you look back over the river, and guess what you see? There's a whole group of people, wet, frustrated, (laughs) some of them staring at their open wallets. And at that point, you yell across the river, and you say, I'm not better than you. I'm not smarter than you. But I happen to know where the bridge is. If you want to go to the bridge, if you want to find the bridge, right? If you've tried to walk across, if you've tried to swim across, if you've even paid money to get a boat across and it hasn't worked, I know where the bridge is. Just go up river, about an hour, you'll find the bridge, walk across. And by the way, if you're headed up to the pick store where I'm going, I'll wait. You come down river again an hour, I'll wait here and we can go together. Okay, that's the framework. All right, we all clear? No questions about the story? Right? So, what do we have? The first thing, when we start telling any story, this is for services, this is for products, this is when I design products, this is when I pitch products, this is my framework for everything. The first thing to be clear is, I don't sell the bridge. That's what most of us do. We start talking about the bridge right away. If you have a product, you start talking about your product. If you have a service that you've productized, you start talking about that. You start pitching the bridge before anybody even knows they need a bridge. And you forget the destination. The destination and the objective there is specially picked at a specialty store. The first thing you need to be clear on, right? If you're designing that landing page or if you're in that first conversation, the first thing to be clear on is make sure that your audience wants to go to the destination that you can help them reach. 